All of the force from the track transfers to the rear suspension through the rear axle and idler wheels. From the rear axle, force moves forward through the slide rails. Since the rear arm of the rear suspension has a pivoting drop link between the rear arm and the slide rail, no horizontal force can push the chassis through the rear arm. All force from the track pushing the chassis goes through the front arm, which is why the front arm of a slide suspension is sometimes called a torque arm. Because the front arm can rotate at both the chassis and the slide rail end, force can only move along the front arm and can only push the chassis along a straight line drawn through the front arm. A more shallow angle of the front arm to the slide rail results in more of the force from the track pushing the snowmobile forward. A steep angle between the front arm and the slide rail lifts the snowmobile instead of moving it forward. Similarly, a steeper angle of the front arm pushes the track into the snow with more force, giving more traction. If we call the unit of force driving the track, clutches and chain case gearing a wow, we can see the effect of front arm angle on performance. Let's look at two different suspension setups. In both configurations, five wows of force are pushing on the rear wheels, through the slide rails, and up the front arm, where the force of five wows pushes on the chassis. In the first configuration, 4.5 wows are accelerating the snowmobile, and 2.1 wows of force are lifting the chassis and providing traction by pushing the track into the snow. In the second configuration, with the much steeper angle on the front arm, only three wows are accelerating the snowmobile, but now four wows are lifting the chassis and pushing the track into the snow. So the steeper angle of the front arm shown in the second configuration gives almost twice the lift on the chassis and almost double the traction of the flatter angle, but with 33% less force for acceleration. Which means that, given good traction from the snow, a snowmobile running a flatter angle on the front arm, in very technical terms, a tighter limiter strap, accelerates 33% faster than a snowmobile doing an impressive ski lifting wheelie. Remember, it's not always power that lifts the skis on acceleration. Sometimes it's just poor suspension adjustment. On an icy surface, however, the flatter suspension angle may not push the track into the ice with enough force and the track may spin instead of accelerating the snowmobile.